Hey you guys, it's Miss Billman. We're looking at Unit 9, Lesson 2, and this is going to be focusing on number lines, both vertical and horizontal, and what happens when you layer them. When we're looking at these, I do talk about it a lot, or I draw pictures of it to help myself remember, but they're number lines that are layered, then we create this coordinate plane and quadrants, or we can just see on a number line. So, what integer represents the origin? Origin is the beginning, where do all numbers begin? In this case, like I'm drawing on um, these four quadrants, there's the center, um, there's a vertical number line and a horizontal number line. Where I'm drawing is origin, it's zero. It's just like a superhero origin story. Where do they begin? Zero. Suppose a point is located 12 unit lengths below the origin of a vertical number line. What integer represents that point? So it would be negative 12 because it's below. On a vertical number line, anything below zero is going to be negative. Anything above will be positive. On a horizontal number line, if it's to the left of zero, it'll be negative. If it's to the right, it will be positive. So on a horizontal number line, a point is located at positive 15. Describe the distance and direction of the point. So I'm drawing another line. This is horizontal and obviously not using really spaces, but I'm going with this for my model. So if we're looking at the distance and the direction, this point, positive 15, but they're very specific with that, it's 15 unit lengths to the right of the origin. It goes to the right of zero. When, if this would have said negative 15, we would be changing this to 15 units to the left of origin. Um, if we look back at number two, we could say that that is 12 unit lengths um, below the origin. It'd be the same thing. So number four, we're going to be using um, this uh, model to the, the right for these four through six. What do the loops on the number line show? So I'm outlining a loop right now. And I'm taking note that from the origin to the first dash, it's one or negative one. So the loops are actually showing the unit lengths. They're saying to go from zero to one, it's this much. Um, that would be the length of the unit. Now there aren't any dashes located in between there. So uh, we don't know if there's you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.75, 0 0.3, 0 0.35. We don't know any of that. Um, but unit length is also talking, in this case, 0 to 1. So how do the arrows for positive 1 and negative 1 show both distance and direction? If you look at where I'm outlining in yellow, there are little arrows. And you'd see this on your paper too. But those arrows are showing us the direction both above and below the origin. It is really important as we go further into math that you're taking note and attending to precision of the positive and negative uh, numbers you see. Because if I said negative 14 and you put it at 14, that's a huge difference. You're not just one off. You are just completely the opposite direction for distance from zero. So the arrows show direction above and below the origin. Above is positive, so it'd be, you know, plus one, and below is negative, and it just represents the unit lengths. That's what we're seeing. Now, if these said five for both of these, we would still be looking at unit lengths. That's just the indicated uh, number from the, uh, from the paper. So the one is going to tell us, again, the distance from zero. 0 to that first dash is 1. Um, you know, 0 from the first dash below is also 1 as well, but it just happens to be negative. Again, unit length. In number 6, we're talking about our positive 1 and opposite 1, or negative 1 and opposite integers, opposite 1. Oh my. So, are they opposite integers? Yes, they are. They are completely opposite because both positive and negative uh, one, they're the same number of unit lengths from the origin, right? So on that vertical number line, there is uh, origin at zero, positive one goes up one, and negative one goes down one. So they are opposites. Now, if this was 
positive 1 and negative 17, we would not be talking opposites. We, I mean, they wouldn't even be in the same playing field for this question. Um, the, both positive 1 and negative 1 have the same unit lengths from the origin, which is 1. They just happen to be going in different directions. For number 7, it has on the number line below, draw a point at each tick mark and label the point with an integer. So you'll see, I will try and squeeze my writing in here, um, but it is pretty tricky on an iPad. So where I'm labeling, we have positive because it's to the right of origin or of zero. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of those are positive. To the left, while I grab another color, is going to be negative. All of these will be labeled negative. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, and negative ten. Okay, we did it. There's our number line. And I cannot, for the life of me, figure out why do I do these random lines on here. But either way, you're here. Gold star. Kudos for you. Keep it up.